Monday, and we're at the 19th of September, 2022, and the time right now is just about 8.30 a.m. Central Time. So, if you look behind me, a lot of red. Uh, platinum's up. Palladium was up this morning as well. Can't go by too much in the uh, cocoa coffee cotton, uh, not cotton, coffee, cocoa, sugar, as many of those markets are closed for the Queen's uh, funeral day. If you've been watching it, it's been all over TV, something you don't see except once every couple of lifetimes, I guess. Unbelievable. Um, energy markets all under severe pressure, down $2.40 here. And this is even with the report coming out of uh, OPEC that they are missing production quotas by 3 million plus barrels a day. Remember they said they were cutting 100,000. They're not meeting the goals. I have been telling you this all the way through, and this is the weak demand that you have. This is part and parcel in front of the all-important Wednesday FOMC announcement. Now, we're likely to get a 75 basis point hike. The market is talking possibly getting 100 basis points, depends how the meeting goes and what the uh, Fed thinks. There's no real major reports between now and then, so I'm still leaning into the 75 area. You can see interest rates continue to climb. Look at the grain markets. They're all getting pressure right now. And remember, at this time of the year, what do you do in grains? You add supply. The harvest is going on in beans, corn. Now the corn really picks up its harvest over the next 10 days. Beans will start picking it up as we get into October. As we step over into the metal markets, under a lot of pressure, gold, silver, why not? If you got the dollar still going up, you have interest rates going higher, the headwinds are a killer for it. Another headwind, look at Bitcoin, just got uh, close to the 18,200 level, as you can see. It's bounced quite a bit, about $1,400 since then. But as the stock market goes south and it's been going south, that's it. Now, in my mind, the stock market's getting ready for, at some point here, a snapback. Uh, you don't go every day down since, uh, what was it, the 13th when we got the CPI number, and it's just every day is lower. At some point, there'll be what's called a relief rally. It'll come out of what you don't expect it to come out of. Uh, it could be short-lived. Got to pay attention to it. The June lows, you will hear more and more analysts saying that those are the lows that the market's going to go after. Now, when we look at the morning data, we're going to get the National Association of Home Builders at 9 o'clock this morning, their monthly housing index. They're expecting it to slip to a 47 reading. And tomorrow, to go along with that, that's on Tuesday, we're going to get the, um, the Commerce Department August figures on house construction and building permits. They're both expected to have fallen rather sharply, 9.6% in the housing uh, starts and the building permits declining about 1.3%. So when you put those all together, you can see the impact of a 6% plus mortgage rate, interest rates going higher, the Fed determined to put the economy and crush demand, and that's basically what they're gonna do. You'll hear more about that come Wednesday. So between now and Wednesday, it's one of these rough times. Don't force the trading. The markets after this meeting, you, you'll have plenty of opportunity for trades. I'm not saying don't do anything. I'm saying be certain of what you're doing. Don't trade for the sake of doing something because the setups aren't right. Patience, that's the hardest thing a trader can have. And with that in mind, you know, one of the things that I like to do is, let me get over, if I could right over here, is to teach ideas in trading. And one of the popular ones we have are pivot points. Now, we even publish at Lynn, if you get our market research, all the pivot points for you in every single market. But your charting service does it. If you have a charting service worth its weight in anything, they're going to have pivot points. But the odds are, number one, you probably don't know how to work with them. Number two, how do you do timing with them? What are they for? How does it uh, maybe enhance entry and exit points? What about momentum throughout the day? This is what they do. I created a three-part video series. It is free. I teach you how to look at them, what to do, the way that I would approach them, where you go with it. How do you get all this? Well, it's simple. You go to our website at www.irapstein.com. By the way, you can always just follow me right here. I'll do it with this hand. Move your cursor up to the top, and from that cursor, you'll see an icon. 
Press on the icon, takes you right to the area you sign up. My staff will get this out to you literally right away. So just sign up for it there. It's the simplest way to do it. Again, www.irapstein.com. That's how you get your free three-part video series learning how to work with momentum, how to work with the pivot point, idea, enhance, entry, and exit. I'm Irapstein. I'll see you at the end of the day with your market wrap-ups. Trade well.